Hello guys, this will be another follow-up video on a follow-up video about models and services and where a method belongs. So calculating price for days. If you haven't seen or don't remember those videos from a few weeks ago, I will link them in the description below. But basically we have a method in the model, which I thought to be an accessor, but then I decided that it would be just a method in the eloquent model. And some of you thought it could be a service instead. So I created a follow-up video on that. But on that video, a few of you added valuable comments of why I don't talk about that method to be testable. So this is a follow-up and I added a lesson to that course. This comes from the Booking.com API course. And in this video, I will do exactly that. I will transform that method into a service and make it testable with unit tests, not a feature test. There's a difference and I will explain and also with TDD. With test-driven developments, so we will write tests first. And to save myself time, I will just basically read that article, the tutorial from screen. I know it's a bit weird, but I better spend my time creating more videos in the future than recreate the same scenario in PHP Storm again. I hope you're okay with that. If it's too weird, then let me know in the comments. Maybe I will do it differently next time. So the initial scenario, you have this method in the apartment model, which calculates the price from apartment prices, which is, has many relationship, and the parameters are start or end date, like you would search in Booking.com for the apartment. And those two comments that I mentioned, why not make it testable and why not TDD? And first, by testable, they mostly mean, I assume, unit tests, because the test for that already exists, the feature test for that feature apartment price test from earlier in this course we have test that apartment calculate the price correctly so we create the data for that in the database in the fake database testing database but whatever it's eloquent so we create apartment apartment price and then we call that method from the model and then assert equals so this is a feature test because we touch the database we actually create the feature of apartment but what we actually need to test is the calculations if I have prices in May, in June, and in August, different prices, and if I want to book from May to June, what would be the price? That test does not need to know about the database, does not need to create the models for that. So our goal, one of the goals, if you want to separate that calculation service, is to have that as a separate method in service, for example, and that method would accept the input like a collection or an array and would return the integer of price or float of price and would not touch the database. What would it give us? Why would you do that? Such unit test and that method becomes a unit, exactly separate unit that we test. First, it runs faster because it doesn't touch the database and doesn't use any factories or eloquent at all. And then it allows any developer to test different cases of that calculations really quickly, separately, and improve that feature without knowing where that data comes from. So that's the separation of concerns according to all the solid principles and just general logic. That method would be responsible only for calculations and the test would test only that method. So that's the logic of why would you need that and what is the end goal. And this is described in the lesson. And on top of that, let's write TDD, which means Let's pretend that we do not have that feature. Of course, it's a bit cheating because we do have that method already, it's just in the model, but let's start the thinking process of what that feature would look like, although we don't have it yet. So we need calculation of prices. So first we generate the test, which would intentionally fail at the moment. In the first launch, we make it a unit test with this flag, which means it extends a different core class test case comes from PHP unit and not from Laravel, which means that it doesn't do any Laravel magic and we don't need any Laravel magic at the moment. And this is our test. So test pricing for single price, for example. So we have the array of prices. So from this date to that date, the price is 100 whatever dollars, euro pounds per day. And we calculate price for one day and we assert that it equals 100. So we first write that test imagining how that calculation service should be called, what should be the method, what should be the parameters and what it should return. And then we launch that test and of course it would fail. 
from the very beginning because we don't have that pricing service yet at all and that's okay the goal here is not to write the test that would pass but the goal is to start thinking of how the feature would be implemented it's kind of like specification just in the form of automated test so instead of writing on paper or draw some i don't know on a whiteboard you would do that in the form of automated test and then step by step you start creating that service implement that feature then go back to test and jump to the test and the code, improving both until the test actually succeeds and mimics the real life scenario. And this is exactly what I'm doing over that article. So I create pricing service method and it's mostly copy paste. In this case, it's kind of a cheating, as I said, from model to service changing that the parameter is a collection, which may or may not be from the database and start date and string date are parameters of string and we transform them to carbon in that service method. And then in the unit test, we just need to call that service. So we set up, we create an object for all the methods, for all the upcoming methods of testing in that test file. And then we don't really change anything here. And this is our first successful test. And the result of that is that any other developer could go to that service and work on debugging or improving or testing just that alone without touching any database structure. And then we repeat the same thing for more testing. And this is where unit tests kind of shine, that you can repeat the same thing for multiple cases within the same testing method. So you can calculate the price for two days, then have another scenario with another collection with other dates. And you can call that pricing service multiple times and it would easily and quickly make the calculations again without touching the database. And then finally, in this lesson, I've performed the refactoring to service. So we didn't need the model method anymore. So then I removed it from where it was used in the observer and in eloquent API resource. So this is the lesson part of my booking com API course. And I decided to shoot this video kind of reading it to you like fairy tale almost, but this is a pretty real life scenario. And I really love the videos based on your comments or on your suggestions to improve. And maybe there will be something else that you will mention here that I will have another follow up video, who knows. But I hope from this video, you have learned a few things. So what is the difference between feature and unit test and how to refactor into services, for example, which would not touch the database. I will link the lesson in the description below. You can check that out as well as the full course and see you guys in other videos.